welcome back to the Inspired Entrepreneur with Heather Hope. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Heather Hope with the Inspired Entrepreneur. So happy (laughs) Friday. No, 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 no. What day is today? Happy the day after Christmas. Sorry, today's not Friday. Today's Saturday. So today is December 26th. I hope you had a really great, um, a great holiday. Um, at the very end of yesterday's podcast, very end, like the last minute or two, probably the last couple of minutes, I talked about if you do feel sad at Christmas time, go listen to that if that applies to you. Because I, I felt um, like I probably should have said that earlier, but it came to me. So there you go. Okay, so let's jump into this. Today's tw- uh, December 26th, and this is a daily podcast from my book, The Inspired Entrepreneur. You can check out the details on Amazon. The link is down below. You could also pick up the 30 days to manifest 30 days to manifesting your success journal. Um, I'm using that every day. I created it because it's the three things that I do every day. When I do them every single day, I manifest the thing that I'm focused on. So I, I t- tend to stick to one thing. And for me, usually within seven days, the thing is manifested. The actual thing is manifested or lots of ideas manifest to obtain what I'm focused on. So it's really cool. So I created it into 30 days since, since this is my entire life, basically law of attraction and teaching it and coaching people and all of that, creating programs and writing books and stuff that it doesn't take me that long to manifest things because I'm really good at it. So I created a journal that's 30 days. There's three sets of 30 days for you. So you can focus on three different things. Um, So it's good for three months. There you go. So check out all the links down below and let's get started. Your impatience of it not being here yet is holding you where you are. Pay attention to the journey. It sounds so cliche. I say that a lot, but it's cliche. But I know, but the joy is in the journey. It's a journey. So relax and focus on the fun you can experience today. When you relax, you allow your cork to float. And that's when you allow all the good stuff in. Okay. (laughs) This is, this was a enormous lesson for me. And you don't, you, you don't, Abraham's so good about you don't learn, you only learn from experience. And, you know, as a coach, I realize that very much that my clients don't really learn until they experience it. They can listen to me all day long. And some of them have, and still don't understand until they experience it. So they have to experience it. So this was a big deal for me really enjoying the journey. So the way that I realized this, <laughs> I was in Pismo Beach, California, um, a couple of years ago, and I was manifesting living in Pismo, right? That was where we wanted to live. We still want to live there, vacation there, extended vacations there is really where we're headed right now. Um, because I like the contrast, if I, if, if you want to know why, because I love Paradise Valley, Arizona, that's where we're moving to. I love that. I've always wanted a house there. Um, and because of all of what's been going on, I, I don't, I don't want to live in California right now because of what's going on. It's not, to me, it's not worth it. It's not worth paying a lot of money or a lot more money to live there and not be able to do anything but look at the ocean. Yeah, it's still nice, but it, we did it. We did it at the beginning of the year, <laughs> beginning of shutdown. That's where we were living. We lived there for six weeks into the shutdown, and we were just like, you know, it was not the greatest time. So anyhow, um, <laughs> so so what we realized is that we wanted to stay here for a while, but we want to live in the like nicest area of Arizona that we both love. Uh, 
And then we want to also still live in California. We want to live in Pismo Beach. We want that oceanfront house. That's what we want. We want to be oceanfront. And we want to live there because we really love it there. We, it is, it does feel like home. Like we do both feel like both these places are, are home for us. So the thing is, anytime you live in one place for an extended amount of time, it becomes kind of old news, right? Well, I mean, manifestations become old pretty quick, but you know what I mean? So like, why do we love vacation so much? Because, well, we get out of our day-to-day life, we go explore something else that's more beautiful or whatever, right? But if you live in paradise, which is, which everybody over there calls it, a lot of people call it Pismo Dice, which I think is corny, but whatever. <laughs> so it's paradise. And we want to live in Paradise Valley in Arizona, which is paradise, <laughs> but it's in a different way. Um, we want to experience more than one thing. We want, like, we want different things. We don't want the same thing every single day. Like, I don't. I don't want the same exact thing every single day for um, for years. I, I just don't. Because it will become complacent. It will become something, you know, or it won't be anything. <laughs> It'll just be like same old, same old. Nothing exciting going on here after a while. It just will. So what I, what I thought of, of like, let's just rule, eventually we're going to get a place on the ocean where we can spend a couple weeks at a time or maybe a month at a time or the summer or, you know, or the winter or whatever the season, right? And we can spend long weekends. We can, you know, we can have the best of both worlds. And that's what we decided, you know, back in October on our way back from Mexico was the start of this journey of... You know, we do love California, but we love it here too. We love Paradise Valley. So anyhow, not where I currently live, but where we're moving to. But anyway, especially since we got to have all this stuff, like get better. We got to get better here. We, you know what I mean? Like what's been going on needs to just get better. So it's a better living environment over there. So because it wasn't, it, it was just so bizarre to live there and have everything shut down and there might have been a curfew which whatever I mean it's really dark there so I didn't really drive a whole lot at night um yeah but when there's nothing to do and you went there for the lifestyle it's like why are we sitting here paying rent on a you know we're staring at the ocean which is absolutely an amazing thing but like we have a house in Arizona still so Let's just go back, and that's what we did. And we've been here ever since, ever since, I think, May. Anyhow, enough of all that, but the journey. So a couple of years ago, at least probably three years ago maybe, we were driving. We were in Pismo because we had we had vacation there numerous times before we moved there. And one of the times we were there, we were coming back. We are coming back from eating out, and we were driving down. If you know the area, this is um, central coast of California. Uh, just gorgeous gorgeous so it's kind of like you're in between wine country and um such a cool place central valley or the central coast of california is an amazing place to be like i love california period but the scenery the beauty all of that um but the central coast is so different than southern california it's not as populated. <laughs> it's, it's like, you really have to want to be there to drive there. Um, it's 90, about 90 minutes north of Santa Barbara. Santa Barbara is really cool. My dog loves Santa Barbara. It's really funny. Anytime that we're about to stop and go walk, he's just super excited to be there. Crazy. He loves the ocean. So anyhow, it's a really cool place to be really cool. And, um, we were driving, down the freeway between San Luis Obispo, slow, <laughs> what they, we call it slow, right? San, San Luis Obispo is, uh, all, you know, going south, you end up in um, Pismo Beach. And we were driving back to our hotel from, from eating out, and it dawned on me. It was starting to feel 
old news. Because I had visualized this so many times, I was enjoying the visualization so much that it was feeling so normal that when we were there, it was almost old news. It was almost old news. That's how it felt. And that's what it needs to basically feel like for things to manifest pretty easily. Now, it was probably another year. I'm not quite sure the timeline. Maybe it was just a few more months and we were there, but I don't think it was. But I think it was like a whole year and a half or something. Or I don't know. We were there so many times that I can't tell you. But, um, but I remember the joys in the journey, Heather, the, all the days that you visualize this, all the days you watch the, the sun go down on their web, on their surf cam, all the days that, all the vacations you took, all of that, all that fun, all of that was, is the journey. And when the manifestation comes, it's like, oh, okay, we're here. I mean, it was just a week or whatever, but it was like, okay, we're here. We're here. And it was the same thing when we actually moved there. When we moved there, I was sitting there because I had a view of the pier and the view of the ocean from everywhere. And I would sit there like, and, and anytime I put on a video, because the t large screen TV was on the wall. So I put like YouTube on and videos of different things. And I'd, I sat there and I realized just how realistic it was for me to watch videos of the things that I was manifesting. It like, cause when I'm out on the beach, it, I mean, it's an amazing feeling. It's great to be out there and all that, but it's like, okay, I'm here, but you know, I kind of almost enjoy it more on video or, or it's basically the same feeling because it's kind of like transporting yourself there in the now moment right? This could get really like spiritual or really um, out there, but it, that's, that's what I realized. So when I watch videos of the ocean, cause I, yeah, I follow a couple of photographers over in Pismo and they, they post live video from the Facebook lives from the ocean, like every single day. When I do watch them, I do enjoy it. Like I don't sit there and be like, Oh my God, I wish occasionally that pops up. Like, Oh my God, I wish I was really there. It's probably just the contrast in that moment. But, um, but I enjoy it because I'm like, I know what it feels like to be there. I know what it feels like to be there. And this is almost as enjoyable. It really is. Sometimes it is more enjoyable to just watch it on a video. Does that make sense at all? It probably doesn't until you experience it. And then you're like, it's nearly the same thing because <laughs> I enjoy it that much. And so I remember telling myself, like, especially when it was becoming clear that we were moving back because we didn't make the decision until like three days prior. We were really holding out a little bit of hope that some things were going to work out, but we were pretty much resolved to come back. And I think it worked out. I definitely know it worked out, it worked out really beneficial, but, um, cause it's changing our whole plan now. But so I told myself, just remember how this, what this feels like and know that it feels almost as good in the video. But, you know, I, there's a lot of things that I, you know, I would drive through the neighborhoods, the neighborhood that we want to buy a house in over there. Um, I drove through there so many times, walked around, walked Gizmo. We both <laughs> were there and um, just really taking it in as much as I could, especially the last day. Oh, I had tears. I did. I went and visited the house I wanted to buy. A cat was like right there in the street and followed me to a park bench they have parks right on the on the cliffs on the ocean and just curled up next to me and fell asleep and I just when I was leaving I cried because I'm like I love being here and I didn't I didn't want to go but I, I had a feeling that if we left it was going to be a while until we came back and I was like I really hope that's not the case but I know how life can be <laughs> and life can just really be, really end up being different than what you thought it was going to be, right? 
I mean, our, our path just is constantly unfolding and different things happening. So, you know, I said goodbye to the, to the cat and it was just a really cool moment. And I drove away and I was very tearful because I loved being there, but I really want to be there, you know, part time and, and really cherish all the time that I'm there and not just take it for granted that there's an ocean in my backyard and that's just the way it is. You know, maybe one day in the, in out, you know, in the future, that'll be my life, but <laughs> there's other things I want to do anyway. So your impatient of it, impatience of it, not being here yet is holding you where you are. So if you're watching videos of where you want to be and you're like annoyed and impatient and like, when is this ever going to happen and getting pissed off or whatever, all those emotions, just know that you're nowhere near. <laughs> Sorry to tell you that, but you're not close enough to it for it to happen. For things to happen, you have to be in the vibration of it, the vibrational vicinity of it to happen. You have to resonate with that. You have to be like, gosh, you know, especially if it's, if it's moving somewhere or wanting a new car or whatever it is, go test drive the car, take pictures of the car, take pictures behind the wheel. I have them on my vision board right now. Um, go vacation where you want to be, go, you know, spend a couple days there, do go drive the neighborhood, go look at the open houses, go do all of that. Immerse yourself in what you want as much as you possibly can. That's why we were in Pismo at least five times before we moved there. You know, it's, it's where my husband proposed to me on the beach at sunset. It's, you know, it's all of it. It's just, we, we honeymooned there. We did everything we possibly could anytime. We thought about going there a couple of weeks, like last week, but the timing didn't work out. So, you know, I'm like, yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while since we've been there. It's been since, um, I think the end of April, I don't know, or the end of May. I don't know. I can't remember, but it's been a while, probably over overdue, but you know, there's been some restrictions here, so or everywhere. So it's kind of like we're just laying low and seeing what happens. Maybe next month we will plan another trip and see how we feel. I mean, I we have never felt differently. And the day that I manifested the ocean view home, um, after doing seven days of my three things a day, I drove into Pismo. And I, I think I was in tears and I'm not a crying type of person. I don't cry very often, but when something hits me, I allow that emotion to wash over me and express it, you know, and, and I just instantly felt I'm home. So it was, it all lined up perfectly. So anyway, try to reduce that impatience if you feel it. And, and one of the things, okay, so I was looking up some new graphics last night for the Millionaire Manifester page. Let me f look for them. There was one in particular. Um, I haven't scheduled the post soon. And I think I saved it. Let me see if I did save it. It was talking about, let me look it up. Oh, okay, here it is. You will always be slightly dissatisfied with where you are. The best place to be is I'm mostly satisfied and reaching for more. So it's, it's like, because you want more, right? We're, we're constantly expanding. We're changing. We want more. That's just who we are. So just remember that you will always be slightly, dis slightly dissatisfied. Not only because you want more, you want something more. So there's going to be that slight dissatisfaction. The only thing is that you just have to reach for a better feeling thought. So then that dissatisfaction doesn't get bigger <laughs> into impatience and like anger and rage and stuff. So, so the, your impatient of it not being here yet is holding you where you are. Pay attention to the journey. I mean, the journey. Oh, this is what I say is that the journey is the longest part of every manifestation. So enjoy it, enjoy the journey because it's going to be a lot of fun if you enjoy it. So relax and focus on the fun you can experience today. When you relax, you allow your cork to float and that's when you allow all the good stuff in. 
And then honestly, at that point, when you relax and allow your cork to flow and you're feeling good and relaxed and having fun, you don't care about the manifestation when you're feeling that way. And you know what happens when you don't care about it anymore? It manifests. <laughs> doesn't, sound, doesn't sound right, does it? But it does. That's what happens. When you let it go, because that means you've let go of the cork. You're not holding it down anymore of like, why isn't this working? Why isn't it working yet? Blah, blah, blah. And then you get into a good place and feeling, you know, having a fun time and feeling good and letting it go, you let it go and bobs right up. Anyway, let me let you go. Have an amazing rest of your Saturday, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye, guys. Thank you.